In this video, I'm going to be removing people and objects from photos using Affinity Photo on the iPad. Hello and welcome, Andrew Goodman here and in nearly every photograph I take there's always something that I would like removed or maybe taken out. It might be someone in the background or something that would just make the photo a wee bit cleaner, a wee bit nicer in the eye. In today's tutorial I'll be looking at three photos and I'll be teaching you how to use the clone brush, a quick look at the history studio, how to use the patch tool, how to use the healing brush, examples of using all three tools, a look at the red eye removal tool and much more. So let's get into it. Okay, so we're just going to open up a Fendi photo. And as always, these are our previous projects. We're just going to hit this plus icon. We're just going to import from photos. Uh, sometimes this will pop up. Would you like to access your photos? Select more photos. Keep current selection. I'm going to keep the current selection because just before I start this tutorial, I added some photos in. And we will start with this one. So this just brings it in to a Findy photo and this is a photo I took with my drone. I'm a drone pilot for my work and uh, I wasn't working this day. I went up to the north coast of Northern Ireland and I took this wee photo. And really there's not too much I would change about this photo but one small thing and that's just if we zoom in down here you can see myself and my mate and this is just a wee drone helipad just to take off from. So this gives us a good excuse to look at the clone brush tool. Simply what the clone brush tool does, if we click into it, you can see lots of options. We'll maybe go, th go through these ones, but we'll start off with the clone brush. By using my finger, let's get nice and, nice and tight in. And maybe use click this wee selection here, just beside my gear here. Again, the context menu, we can change the width of the brush, the opacity, the flow, the hardness. I'm okay with all this. I don't want too hard. I would like a nice, I would like a nice soft brush to feather the edges. And what's nice about the Findlay photo, you can see here that we can, uh, you get a visual representation of how hard it is. So we'll bring that down to zero. There's other options here, but we don't need to worry about that. So I've just clicked with my finger and now simply if I just draw here that has taken away my wee drone landing pad you can see here a wee X hopefully it comes up okay on YouTube if I scroll up you can see it's starting to take into that bit which I don't quite want so I will come down here take away this here I don't know if that's my bag or something else I think that's my bag we'll maybe go to this path and just take it out. We'll take out me and my mate too while we're here. Again, you'll not really notice us too much, especially when the image is so far away. But it just it just cleans it up. And that's the clone the clone stamp. We'll maybe use it in another example too. There's nothing here that I really want to change. That was the only bit that was annoying me in the photo. If we go to the, the history studio here and we'll go right back, you can either click on certain things here or just this is quite nice a wee visual tool you can slide it to see what we did there so this is what we have now that's what we had so there's nothing else that i want to do here that there wee bit was just annoying me it just probably i was the only one that would ever notice it was there but just seeing it was a bright orange the wee drone pad it just really stood out to me by using the clone, clone brush you can see in our layer studio that is now baked in to the photograph it's not in another layer i can't get that back nor do i want to unless i import the photo again and redo it so i'll go back and we'll do another example of another photo and we'll see how we get on and again this photo was taken on the north coast of northern ireland some of you may recognize this you'll do well to recognize it straight away but if i were to tell you this location was in Game of Thrones. Now, I didn't watch Game of Thrones, so my knowledge is fairly limited. This is Ballantoy Harbour, and in Game of Thrones, I believe it was Pikes Harbour. So we'll bring a few photos up, because some of you might recognise it from the TV show Game of Thrones. We'll bring a few here that I've just found from the internet. As I said, I didn't watch Game of Thrones, but just for fun. So we can see this guy here. I'm sure he's famous, I'm sure he was an important character, but I have no idea who he is, what he did in Game of Thrones, apologies. That's this wee house here, we can see. 
and we'll show another view of it. And this is actually similar to the view that I'm showing you. You can kind of see the wee parts of it there. And then just one final photo, just for fun. That's maybe the more the more famous view. And that's pointing this way, pointing at the camera. So we're looking, looking in at it. So there you go. There's a bit of useless information that you may or may not have wanted to know. So straight away, this is a nice wee, nice wee photo. Like all these photos, I would uh, I would touch it up in an Infinity photo and then colour grade it afterwards. There's going to be a video on that down the line too. But I'm just looking at these four people having a bit of a chat here. And clone brush. I've been tempted to use the patch tool for this. So again, I'm just simply drawing around them. And this is a lot of fun. And I'm just going to drag this down here. Try to line it up with the wall the best I can. And then hit the wee arrow to apply it. And that's really, really nice. That's a nice job there. You can kind of see it's a wee bit blotchy here. If you wanted to, you could even go in a wee bit further and patch this bit and maybe move it. Here, maybe that makes it look just a wee bit more natural. And I'll maybe just try to remove these people. I'll maybe try to remove these with the, the clone brush. It's not too bad there. These here people will be a wee bit harder, so we'll make the selection there. Maybe they won't. Maybe they'll be a wee bit, a wee bit easier, and we'll try to get some of this edge. That's moved up because that's moved up a wee bit. If I follow this, we might get away with, we might get away with it just a wee bit, and then just redo that. So that's not too bad. You could be a wee bit more precise, but very quickly we're. In a good way here. I don't like this here, but that it keeps duplicating. But let me see if we can get a bit from over here. Here. The color of the water is not the same, so we'll maybe. This is a lot of fun. You could spend all day doing uh doing this because now we've kind of got right there. Well, that looks more natural. So we're definitely getting somewhere again. The uh, clone brush is very good because you know exactly what you're getting. I'll try the patch tool with this, but I'm not too confident of the results we'll get with this bit. But we'll see. So move it over. That's not bad, you know. That's a really good job. If I just do the patch tool again for this wee bit, and we'll maybe try to drag up some of some of this another. That's, that's okay, actually, that's very good. Again, let me just try the patch tool first. Sometimes it is a wee bit of trial and error. And knowing what to use in certain circumstances. It's not too bad. It looks a wee bit duplicated, but I, I think it's a good start. So what we could do is go to the healing brush and then just try to do a wee bit. Maybe too much. We'll bring it down a wee bit. Because there's a wee bit of a, a hard edge here. And I just want to refine that wee bit of a hard edge there. And you know what? That's not bad. If we just go into history, that's not bad at all. If we pull back to what we had at the start, we had the, the people over here, a lot of people here. It's a really cool slider. You have a lot of fun doing this. Very happy with that. That's what we started with. 
in between our Game of Thrones photos. And yep, we'll go on to another photo. We're having fun, so we'll we'll keep going because we're going to do another wee example. And this here is a photo, another drone photo, but it's not from me. It is from Larry from Oregon. Larry contacted me in the comment section asking a question and we're actually suggesting a video for the channel and I'm actually going to do the video. It's about using different exposures. It's going to be coming up soon. But uh, with a few emails back and forward and when I found out he was also a drone pilot, I asked could he send me a few drone photos and he sent me absolutely stunning photos. I love this one. I think this just looks really, really nice and I love this mountain in the background and I'm not sure of the location. Please comment in the comments below of where exactly this is or what mountain this is. This is just a really stunning photo and I'm really not much needs to be done on this photo. The few small things I would do is I would just take out these cones and I think that would just, obviously for health and safety, these cones were needed, but uh, just for a bit of fun, we'll take these out and Again, when we take them out using different different tools, we uh, will use the clone brush for this. That's maybe no. Maybe get a different, maybe a different location. Maybe down here. Now it's away from everywhere. Now that just feathers up there. Yep, that's nice. And uh, for this, I would probably do a clone too of down here, just because the shadows still going that way. And we'll go on. Yep. And for this, we'll try the healing brush. We'll bring the brush down here, and we'll heal it from here. And again, that's very nice too. And just for fun, we will try, oops, we will try the patch tool here. Again, the blemish is really just, it's just for a dot. We'll, we'll, we'll try, try it. And painting and red eye removal is if, if you have a red eye, but we'll, we'll try the patch tool here and we'll try and get the shadow too. We'll try to go quite close to it. This is a lot of fun. I'm having a lot of fun with these photos, as you can maybe tell. We'll bring it down here somewhere. And that's good too. So that's three different techniques, and all three work. Really just a bit of personal preference, and depending on which you prefer to do the job, we're still in the patch, so we'll just use it. And I brought it down here because there's like a bit of a shadow here, and let's bring a bit of a shadow here. And that is, that's really, really nice. Can we try to get rid of this cone? There's only one left. It's a wee bit more challenging. We'll try the patch tool again with it. And I'll maybe just, I'll not worry about the shadow just at the time being. Move this along to see if we can get somewhere. It looks quite natural. There's a wee bit, there's a wee bit of a blur. There's a wee bit of a hard edge there. I think that's okay. I think when you zoom out, you're really not going to notice, especially if you color grade it. Not that this would need much color grading, but maybe in a tutorial down the line. If you don't mind, Larry, I'm going to use this photo again because I think it's it's absolutely stunning. There's other brushes here, blemish removal, in painting and red eye. Red eye simply takes away if you have a red eye and a photo. I've no examples here for you today, but just out of curiosity, if I, if I just drag it over Santa Slay here, you can see that it actually removes the red from Santa Slay. And if we do it around some of this bunting too, it'll take it away too. But uh, we need Santa Slay to be, to be bright red. And that's pretty much all I would do with this photo. I think that's really nice. Again, we'll just do a quick, quick, quick before and after. Just looks really nice with the cones removed. Again, they had to be there for health and safety, but that bit of artistic license. Just nice to be able to take that. What a picture. Brilliant picture, Larry, and thank you for sending me it. So there you have it. 
Hopefully you found this video useful and helpful. And if it was, please like this video. Please subscribe as I'll be bringing out more videos like this every week. Please feel free to comment below if you have any thoughts or questions about this video. Or please let me know what you would like me to cover or look at in a future video. If you like this video, you might also want to check out this video where I show you how to remove backgrounds. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.